All right, I'm back with another Rhino Sub D tutorial. We all know that Rhino Sub D is changing the way that we generate architectural forms. Architects, architecture students, and students thinking about studying architecture, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. All right, Rhino Sub D surface modeling. So what do we have here? So I'm thinking of this as an entry to a transit hub where you go underground to catch a train. All right, super easy to make and super quick. We're going to do this with a Rhino Sub D surface. So we're going to click on our tool, create a single Sub D face. And in this, you plot faces, not faces, but you plot points. So I'm going to make this like really wide here. And then I'm going to come in thinking of this as like a little entry point, maybe come out a little bit here. So that's, that's going to be my shape. Let's hide this one because it's in our way. Okay, so what do we have to do next? The next thing we have to do is we have to subdivide this. So we're going to click on our object, select our sub D, and then we're going to click on our subdivide, subdivide, subdivide sub D. We're going to click on it once, not enough. Click on it a second time, still not enough. Click on it a third time, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to merge the central area. And the reason why I'm going to do that is I want this central area to act as one surface that I can move up and down. So I'm going to just use uh, shift control and I'm going to select the surfaces that I want to merge together. And this is just a helpful thing to, uh, to know how to do. Not super important for this exact tutorial, but something that you need to know. Okay, so that we merge those together. All right, so I'm going to start making my entry points to the transit hub. So I'm going to use shift control and I'm going to select some faces. And I'm going to select two rows of faces. And I'm going to take those and just using my gumball, I'm going to lift those up. So there I have a nice entryway. And I'm going to have another entryway over here. So I'm just going to press escape to, to unselect those. And then I'm going to use my shift control. So this will be like my, like a smaller, smaller entry into the transit hub. So I'll go ahead and I'll I'll lift that up so a little smaller of an entry. And then I'll come on over here and we'll have another entry point. Again, picking about you know two rows and just using my gumball, raising that up. All right, and then how about one more over in this area? So shift control. So shift, shift control is just allowing you to select the sub geometry. In this case, we're just selecting faces. And now I can click in that middle area and I can use the shift control and click in that middle area and I can I can drag that up or I can drag it down but I like that up a little bit. Wow, look at this. This is so awesome. And now I'm just going to give it a thickness. So I'm going to select it and I'm just going to do the offset sub D. So I'm just going to click on offset sub D. I can click on it to go either down or up. I'm going to go up and then I select my distance, which I'm just using a unit, half a unit. So 0.5 of a unit. All right. And there you have it. It has a thickness. Super cool. All right. I hope you enjoy exploring Rhino Sub D surface modeling. I'll see you on the next one.